YouTubers out there. This is Norm again doing another video. This is Norm the Teacher. I changed my channel name from Norm the Amateur Machinist to Norm the Teacher uh, because uh, it's less the type. And also my daughter had to correct me on the spelling of the word amateur. <laughs> and so I said, okay, that's it. Uh, I'm going to make it simpler. So it's just called Norm the Teacher. It's more appropriate anyway because uh, all of my videos are instructional. And uh, I actually was a teacher for nine years in a couple of different colleges. So um, teaching computer programming. So when I, uh, so that's enough of that, uh, changing the uh, channel name. Uh, uh, this video is about a, uh, a rotary table that I just ordered. And it's, a, it's called the HV6. It's a vertex table. It's a six inch uh, rotary table that you'd put on a milling machine. And I just want to show you a few little things about it in this short video. I'm going to set this, these two cameras down and uh, so everything gets stabilized. All right, I got marks here to mark where I put, have to put this so everything's positioned just right. -o. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, first of all, a little bit about the machine. This is the, the rotary table. It first thing, it doesn't come with T-nuts. It doesn't come with T-nuts at all. The T-nuts that would normally fit on your, like, say, your uh, Harbor Freight milling machine, those T-nuts will not fit on this rotary table. So what I did is I made T-bolts. And I just took a 3 8 inch bolt, I put a washer on it, and then I tack welded the washer. i got to position this for both cameras. And uh, only tack weld on this side and on this side. Leave the other two sides clear so that the, bo the bolt can slide in and out like this. Okay, so that's a, uh, the T-bolt. You can make your own, it's easy. And then uh, for it, I made a flange. It's just a piece of steel. I haven't cut the reference circle yet, but I'm going to put it on the milling machine and cut the reference circle. Don't cut your reference circle until you've welded everything together. Because now this is this centers it. This I made a Morse Morse taper two uh, shaft because that's what this hole is in the middle is a Morse taper two, and uh, on my on my lathe I made a Morse taper two shaft, and it uh, it goes through a hole in the plate, and then I I welded it here. Okay, you put that on here. The shaft goes into the hole. You position your T bolts. And it goes on. That way you can, uh, uh, with this flange, you can wet. Here's my first project that I'm going to do. I'm going to make a hub for a bicycle that uses automotive bearings rather than the cheap bearings that the bicycle comes with. And I'm going to use a piece of plumbing pipe, and I'm going to put uh, automotive bearings in it. But I have to machine out this area to, in order for this, the race of this uh, uh bearing to fit in there. So that's going to be one of my first projects. Now the way I'll use the flange is I will center it on here and again I'll have that reference circle cut in here on the milling machine and I can measure from the reference circle to here. When I measure in all different points or numerous points and it's all the same distance then that will be centered. When that's centered I will then tack weld it maybe here here and here. Maybe three tack welds that are easy to grind away. And then I can turn the table and mill away uh, the inside uh, diameter of this uh, um, hub that's going to be the hub. And then through here will be the shaft and the pedals will connect here and then over here. Enough on that. Now the back to the, the rotary table. Uh, I'll take, take the flange off, take the bolts, I'll leave the bolts in because uh, you'll be able to see some motion here. Uh, one thing about this thing is you can, uh, you can either have it with backlash, if you were ever to de desire backlash for some reason, or uh, you can almost have a, almost no backlash. Uh, right now I've got it set where there's no backlash. As soon, now watch, I, I'll turn the table, see how it's turning? Now, as soon as I turn the other direction, you'll see motion here. 
no backlash. Now, if you uh, there's an on-off setting back here. If you undo this set screw and put it on the off position, completely on off, and then tighten that down, you can now turn this manually for quick turning or quick positioning of stock. And where that would be handy is, uh, let's say it, uh, you want it positioned that much before you start milling. Well, you're going to have to do a lot of cranking uh, with this handle because this handle, uh, the worm gear ratio is 1 to 90. Meaning you have to crank this thing 90 times to get this table to ro rotate one, one complete revolution. So if you, uh, it's on the off position now. Now if I put this back on the on position, by per and the way you do that is you grab this. See how that turns up? And you put it back all the way onto the on position. I may have it on, yeah, yeah. Now it's back to uh, where the hand, it will not turn manually. And when I, notice when I turn the handle, forwards and backwards, no backlash. Now, if I position this thing kind of between on and off, like right there, notice how there's, I'll turn it this way, now watch. Now, if I go the other way, you won't see motion right away. There's backlash, quite a bit of it, actually. Now, I'm going to turn it the other way. No motion at first. Now, there's motion. So, if you want backlash for some reason, this on-off setting, maybe you can see it in there. Tell you what, I'm gonna see if we can get that on the camera. All right, right down there is an on-off. The lighting isn't good enough. Yeah, maybe it is. Right there, and I have to position it from my other camera too, so we can see it. Oh, there we go. It, it just went into focus. Good. Auto focus just kicked in there. Now autofocus from my other camera. I film with two cameras. So uh, I have one copy of the video I can put on my computer. And, I ha and then I delete the other one. After I've uploaded the video, I delete it off my phone to free up my phone memory. Okay, so... Um, uh, it has... Uh, it, when you want to position this tightly and it won't move... You've got these uh, tightening screws, levers, and uh, now that won't move at all. You can't turn it or anything. So uh, it's horizontal, or you can do it vertical, like that, and, and use it in that uh, type of a fashion also, in a horizontal position, or vertical, I should say, or a horizontal position like this. Okay, so uh, it does. Uh, the thing does not come with the T-nuts, so, so make your own T-bolts, make your own flange, and you're ready to go. Uh, now, because I made this kind of big, I would have a problem using this uh, horizontally, or vertically rather, because this would uh, come in contact right here with the, uh, the table on the uh, milling machine. But uh, you just cross those bridges when you come to them. Uh, let's see here. Here's the, the Vertex logo. Oh, it took me five weeks to get this. Uh, I excuse, uh, I ordered it from Pen Tool, and uh, I excuse both Pen, and then Pen Tool orders it from Vertex, the manufacturer. And I'm assuming they're a manufacturer, either that or a wholesaler. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, Pen Tool orders it from Vertex, and uh, uh, it took five weeks for me to get it, and I excuse both companies for it taking that amount of time to get it to me because of the pandemic. The pandemic was still in high gear then; it's starting to wind down now. But uh, so I excuse them. Uh, here's the manual that it comes with, and it shows some things. It also comes with a little catalog, uh, factory some factory testing that was done here. As far as how many thousands, plus or minus, it's off. Your precision, your warranty card. Uh, another catalog. And another catalog. And uh, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else. 
Um, and I can't remember what it was. I, my, my videos are always uh, completely unrehearsed, so <laughs> uh, they're not the best quality. But uh, let's see here. I don't know what else to tell you right now. Uh, other than I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to the uh, HV6 six-inch uh, milling uh, or rotary table uh, from Pen Tool. So uh, I will say bye to you, and I'm going to give you another shot here of this table from a different angle, and then I'm going to cut the video. You can freeze the frames uh, if you want to, and study things that. Uh, that you may want to study. Back side here. Okay. So how many minutes am I at? Ooh, 11 minutes. Okay. Yeah, one thing about my phone is real slow at uploading. Every five minutes of video takes 24 hours to upload. So this is this video is going to be I'm going to my phone's going to be constantly uploading for about 48 hours to 50 hours on this one. <laughs> so uh, I'll be having me making many more videos. We'll see you. Bye.